my dear, beautiful, gorgeous, high caliber ladies. Welcome to Pinoy Wheel, the place where you learn how to unleash your creativity and reach your true potential. I'm your host, Katrina Sevilla, and with me is professional beauty and fashion guru, Data Plan of Beauty and Beyond. So, um, hi there, Dara. How are you? Hi, Katrina. I'm good. Good afternoon to everyone, to all our viewers, both here in the Philippines and there in Belgium and all over the world. There. Talagang maganda naman ang araw today. So today, Dara and I are going to talk about how to achieve that classy and elegant makeup look. So if it's your first time on Pinoy Wheel, Dara and I are doing a series on how to look and act like an elegant and high caliber woman. So go ahead and check out our previous live streams on YouTube at Pinoy Wheel. And also don't forget to check out Beauty and Beyond. Dara is on YouTube as well and uh, Facebook. All right? Okay, so before yes, thank we... thank you, Katrina. Yes, you're welcome. Now, before we dive into our topic, uh, make sure to join our Facebook group. It's called High Achiever Entrepreneurs and Mompreneurs uh, by Pinoy Wheel. So we're, that's where we're going to break down this episode throughout the week. So if you're not uh, joined yet, go ahead and find that on uh, Facebook. All right, let's do a quick recap on makeup products and brushes essential. All right, so let's start off with makeup products. Go ahead, Dara. Oh, yes, with makeup products. So, okay, today I made Daya ng konte so that we can also do some talking, right? Maubos kasi yeah. our time. So, I applied first, syempre, my skincare. So, I started with... You know the drill and then before the makeup itself i applied my primer so that the makeup will last longer and also the application is easier and then i went on and applied my concealer remember the concealer i showed you the orange one mm -hmm. this one it's to cover uh under eye dark circles brown spots and all that and then if you have red spots we also have the green corrector concealer yes. now if you don't want to use this another option is the regular concealer all right for areas that you'd like to hide or conceal and then my foundation so i use this it's up to you whatever brand you like it's your option and then powder all right yes. it's my pressed powder loose powder or setting powder and then we also have the eyebrow pencil your essentials and then it's called the brow cara it's to color or lighten your eyebrows so you have to remember you have to choose uh the eyebrow color should match your hair color right mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then okay before i forget of course your contouring powders if you want to contour mm -hmm. and then of course your eyeshadows right different eyeshadows it's up to you if you want it matte or shimmery and then the blushers it's here but this also goes with the eyeshadows so it's a complete uh, package wow thing and then we have the lippies or the lip colors and what else am i forgetting the eyeliner the gel eyeliner so if i forgot something we can talk about it later i think the highlighter also the shimmery one so there katrina there you go oh sorry about my yep, voice the makeup yeah oh, it's okay my voice is kind of <laughs> raspy also it has slim but i'm not sick we're both not <laughs> sick it's probably the weather no yes right thank you so much for that nice quick recap uh dara really i just want to tell our ladies you know that you don't need to buy all these items uh, to achieve an elegant high caliber look like what you see there's so many products out there but but you can start investing in products that you can afford but good quality products right oh yes tin is there watching hi tin enjoy watching hello tin Hello, she's my sister, and she's, it's probably oh, her hi. day off today. 
there. Yeah, thank you for joining us and to all our viewers and those who will be streaming us. Thank you so much, guys. All right, so let's do a quick recap uh, on makeup brushes, Naman. So um, unfortunately, I cannot really show you uh, all of them, but I'll just let you, uh, you know, uh, I'll just tell them to you. First, number one is we have foundation or kabuki brush. So you can use foundation or kabuki. Um, that's definitely a staple. Next, we also have concealer brush. Just that's to apply your concealer. You also need to have also the double-ended brow brush. That's for the key light is life to achieve that perfect key light look. It's all about the double-ended brow brush. Uh, brow brush, sorry. And then we also have the multitasking eyeshadow brush. So it's uh, one of the staples as well. Or the blending brush. So that's I showed last time. You can probably go and check the previous video. Uh, blending brush do the work really into making that uh, perfect eye, uh, eyebrow, okay? Uh, eyeshadow look. All right, and then what else? We have eyeliner brush. All right, and contour brush. All right. So for me, if you want to, if there are, you know, top two brushes that you really want to invest on, I would go for a lar large powder brush. That's a very staple. And then the, a good eyebrow brush to achieve that uh, key light life look. All right. So that's for the brushes. All right, let's dive into what classy and elegant makeup look is. So uh, for you, Dara, what, what is classy and elegant makeup? For me, it doesn't have anything to do with the trends. It has to be bagay with you, and it also has to look natural. So if you want to look classy and elegant, you can do so with having the no makeup look. So I'll be using, for instance, for your eyeshadows, more of the earthy colors. And then I won't use anything shimmery when it comes to eyeshadows, meaning those para mga glittery stuff. You can use the shimmery ones, but not the glittery stuff. Na, you know, those glitters that you see in yes. high fashion or yes. uh, fashion shows or high fashion ads. You don't use that. You don't want to look like, um, what's her name? Harlequin. <laughs> or yes. you know other yeah you don't want to have like costume makeup you just want to look real and natural and vibrant and glowing exactly so i agree for me, that's it yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah like even they say and the... go ahead yes. go ahead Katrina. Go ahead. yeah I, I was uh gonna say that uh with with makeup especially to achieve that classy and elegant look uh Less is actually more. And you yes, know, it's, less is more. Yeah. And it's for me more uh keeping your eyes, lips, and cheeks within one shade range. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So yeah, that's true. I remember in my younger years. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, I'm caught. Yeah, no, 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 it's okay. Go, go, go ahead. In my younger years, I used to explore a lot. Like, I will buy a lot of different shades and I will copy. Kasi wala pang, wala pang social media. No? Sorry, ma malalaman yung edad. No? But anyway, uh, I would copy the, you know, what I see in magazines. I'll copy their makeup, apply it on me, and then go out with all these trendy shades. And I've realized when you're young, you want to use everything and you want to explore. But as you get older more mature you just want to look uh, clean fresh and real plus you don't really have the time to put on all these makeup because you have other things to take care of and also if i realize like when you're more mature the older you look if you put or apply a lot of makeup yeah because yes. when we're young we want to look older eh? but when we're more when we're more mature, we're in that age and stage already. We want to look youthful, ba? Right? So that's it's true. the reverse naman. Yeah, that's really, right? really true, Adara. You know, I think every one of us went through that stage where we kind of played around the different shades of, of makeup. 
and we like that popping colors. Like here we have Mary Agnes. Hi, Agnes. Thank you for watching. She said she also Hello, has a collection. Agnes. There, she said she also has a collection of glitter makeup to have that nice effect for you know night parties. So I also have yeah. that actually. Mm -hmm. So for yeah, night parties or let's say. That. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it, yeah. it's actually or for, fun. for instance, yeah. there's an event. Sometimes there's like costumey events and parties, right? At least you have them on hand. Yes, and here she also said, "Classy and the daily makeup is better. To, it's better to use matte." Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you for that, Agnes. Yeah, I do agree with that. All right, so we have more engaging viewers now. <laughs> here, there's more. She used not to have makeup, but well, it's also nice. not bad Yay. to make, yes, to make for yourself beautiful every day. So it's not bad to make yourself really good every day because it's our, yes, it's like our business card, our face. <laughs> Is that correct? Yes. You know, it's important, especially now pandemic, diba? Parang the world stopped and sometimes you feel down, you feel the blues. And for me, what really boosts my my happiness is just by having a little color on my face. Even at home, you know, I can't live without applying lip color on my lips when I wake up after I brush my teeth. Okay na ako doon. Kahit walang makeup, I'm just home. Basta may color. Kasi when I see myself looking good, I also feel good. It boosts your confidence level and it makes you happier. It gets rid of the blues. Especially okay. now, diba? Yung small victory sa atin, malaking factor yun ngayon kasi nga, everything's changed in the blink of an eye. Exactly. Like, you know, we're almost two years in this so-called pandemic and, you know, things have changed. And the only thing that we can really do is to, you know, cheer up ourselves and, you know, make ourselves mm -hmm. not just look prettier inside, but also outside. And for me, a yes. makeup is just a great way for me to, you know, share how how be uh, beautiful life is. And just like you said, when you put on, you know, this little uh, lip tint on your lips, like it just makes you feel happy. And only not only that, we make other people, our family, our kids happier also. So that's the beauty of makeup. All well right. said, Katrina. I yep. agree. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Agnes. Such an active viewer. She's uh All right. She's she says makeup is our kind of pampering. Yeah, it's pampering ourselves for all the women and we deserve it. That's true, Agnes. Really we deserve especially uh all these hard working ladies out there whether you're a mom a uh, um, still young lady or you know you're single we all deserve this that's true all right so let's uh, go on with yeah you know, with natural or let's uh, let's dive into elegant classy makeup look all right so yeah, do we yeah, start the application yeah. Yes, Katrina. let's start with the application. Yeah, maybe I can show you what I have. Normally, what I use for, you know, for achieving that classy, elegant look is just this shade. I have very natural shade here. Oh, nice. Yes. 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 It's bagay with anything. The natural, it, it's really, it goes well with a natural look. Yes, that's correct. So just natural. That's what I really love to use. Uh, I have one more here. This oh, one yes. is more. But this one, I don't use the black. For eyebrows, sometimes I use it. But as you can see, mm -hmm. gamit na gamit ang brown shade. Because I love it so Parati much. Yung gamit. <laughs> yes. Parating gamit pag browns. Ubus ka agad yan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> True. All right. So... Uh, Go ahead, Dara. What, what All right, you got? so now, yes, I've already applied my uh, concealer and foundation. No? So it's up to you if you want to use your uh, foundation brush, the sponges, or the stippling. Now, I want to draw the kilay. Kilay is life nga, eh, no? 
So medyo maliit yung monitor dito, pero I have a big mirror with me here in front. I hope you can follow. Yes, so what I do me. is, uh, so I'm choosing this uh, brown or parang light brown eyeshadow, eyebrow pencil. No, I use it para lang to create the shape of the brows. Kasi ito yung brows ko eh. Oh. So wala masyado. <laughs> okay, so if it's your first time, hindi kayo masyadong sanay, you can create parang dots here. So your guideline should be here, para the side of the tip of your nose. You create a tiny dot here at the starting point, And then you move it towards the end of your eyeball here. Create another dot. And then move it again to where the pencil ends. This will be your end point. So the next is to connect the dots. Katrina, hindi ko makita. Can you see me naman while I'm looking at my mirror? Can you see it, Katrina? Oh, sorry about that. I was, I, I was uh, muted. Yes, we can see that perfectly. Okay. All right. So yeah. I'm doing it here. Ayan. So you see na the shape. So I'll do the same thing here sa other side. Hindi na ako magagawa ng dots kasi sanay na ako sa kilay ko eh. Ginagawa ko to sa mga clients kasi iba-iba yung eyebrows nila. Some of them are not pantay, right? Pero we are not born kasi with pantay kilay eh, or you know symmetrical ones. That's why we have to make daya. Yeah. And we have to draw, right? Yung right. iba nga pinapa-embroider pa yan. Mm -hmm. So it's up to yeah, you yeah. whether you want it thicker or thinner. You adjust it dito sa baba to make it thicker if you like. And then now, you have the shape. We fill it in naman. So again, I'm filling it in with the pencil. I'm going inside. Fill in the spaces in between. The eyebrow hair. So, para nag-drawing lang kayo and enjoy what you're doing. Don't be stressed out, no? Yung iba kasi nasa stress. Ito, enjoy nyo lang. What's nice with makeup kasi is you can easily erase. Hindi pareho nung haircut pag nagupit mo na patay. You cannot, ano, anymore glue back the hair that you cut, right? Yeah. Okay, and I'm using a brush. Ito yung angled brush, eyebrow brush. So that I can just even out and blend the color that I applied. So you see right. my key line now here on the right is more defined. Right. If they it's can invest, siya. Yeah. As I, uh, sorry to cut you off there. Like if it's okay, you know, few brushes that you can invest into really that's the angled eyebrow brush that makes the job done. For a perfect yeah, it's easier. Mm -mm. Yes, it's easier because uh, I have a, you know this is the perfect brush for it. the other brushes. No, it simply won't do the job. Okay, now I'm already happy. Okay, the next thing to do is others will use it. Will fill it up using the gel. Me, I like using this and also to preserve it. This is the brow cara. So I'm using blonde as well. Yes. So I'm applying it on top. Can and you I'm tell going us? In. Oh, sorry, sorry, Dara. Why are you using the uh, blonde? Can you tell our viewers? Yes, because yes. I want my eyebrows to match my hair color. That's right. Because if, for instance, I'm using black, what's gonna happen is if you look at me, my brows, if it's black, would be standing out. So, hindi siya magka-match. So, ang nangyayari, the first thing that calls your attention when you meet me would be my eyebrows. It will be sticking out like a sore thumb. <laughs> it doesn't look good. So, yeah. your hair and your brows should match. There you go. So, that's Thank the you key. for that. Yeah. yeah, because I see a lot, yeah. of, especially in the Philippines, we love to color our hairs, right? And that's normal because we love it, right? And we typically have dark hairs or black hairs. So, but they still tend to put black eyebrow kahit na yung hair nila eh medyo light na. So yeah, it's to... medyo masakit sa mata. <laughs> yes. yes. Matapang. Yeah. 
Yes. Matapang. Yes. yes. Okay, so I see some mga excess, no? Yung lampas-lampas. So I'm using, don't use your fingers because it's going to ruin the shape of your brows. So I always go back to my cotton buds. Yeah. So I just remove the excess. Yes, that's the trick. And just, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and just soften it a bit para hindi harsh yung lines, the sides. Yeah, that's how I do it. Even the sides or the ends. And then I'll use my foundation brush again just to soften the edges. I can apply a little powder if you like. So this is optional. So there. All right, we're done with the eyebrows. Now after this, I want to contour. Okay, when you contour... The face naman. Yes. So together with contouring, I'm done now with my brows. So I'll do my other, the other parts of the eye later. Kasi parang gusto ko muna yung, ano, makita yung outline ng face ko. So nasa inyo yun if you wanna do your eyes na later na yung contouring. Me kasi parang, this is my routine na. Parang I wanna draw my face first. Mamaya na yung the rest. <laughs> Alright, so this is my contouring brush. Pwedeng, you have this big one, pwedeng small one. So it's up to you. Now, the color that I'll be using, I don't like the darker one. So I'll be using the parang, the lighter brown. It's matte also, ha? Pero I'll use this medyo na uubos na inuubos ko din. <laughs> uubos na uubos na sa id na yes. sa id. Na favorite ko to, eh. Yes. Okay. So the trick here is to create a parang number three pattern. So you start here at the temple of your forehead and then swipe it over your cheekbone and then down to your jawline. So yan yung pattern na kini-create ko muna. Okay, when you take some of the product, okay, so you swirl it around, right? If you don't want too much, so you just tap a little. Para hindi masyadong makapal yung application. Okay, with makeup naman, madali nga tanggalin. Pero if you make a mistake, syempre yung time that you consume, sayang, no? So what you can do, the key here is to just add little by little. Kasi mas madaling mag-add kesa mag-deduct, right? Pag yeah. nandun na, buburahin mo everything, eh. Yeah. <laughs> so it's That's such true. a task, right? So okay, I created this pattern. Okay, parang a number three pattern. So I'm just gonna spread out the color starting with my cheekbone area. Uh, what's nice about this brush is it really gets the shape of the areas that you like to apply the makeup on. So see, just a little goes a long way. And then you just spread the color. This also takes practice, Katrina. Baka sabi lang, oh, bakit yes. mo ako yung naglagay? Para akong sinuntok. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it takes a uh, practice. You know, re really good practice. It takes practice, practice ha? Yeah. Kasi Just ako din going. when I was, oh, oh, I was doing this in beauty, beauty school, sabi ko, ano yan? but parang ganyan? Even Ayan. the stroke, even the stroke of your brush, it takes practice. Kaya pag nagpalit ka ng brush, di ba, kunyari, nasira, or you have to throw it away, parang it takes time. So, sasabihin yeah. mo, parang bakit hindi ko to hiyang? Kasi nga, yung feel niya iba. Sobra. Okay, so ayan, nakikita nyo na yung, nakikita nyo na yung parang number three pattern. Yes, we see it now, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I'll do the same thing here on the other side. So, ito naman, the challenge here is how to make pantay. Uh -huh. Yan yun. That's really the, the so, secret to having a classy also, classy look. Like an Audrey, Audrey uh, sorry, uh, uh, um, Hepburn. Yeah, Audrey, Audrey Hepburn. Hepburn yeah. Yes. She's yes. so perfect, no? Hindi yeah. ng makeup. <laughs> exactly. You know, they're, sh yeah, they're showing her movie on Netflix, My Fair Lady. So I just started watching it. Ang haba kasi parang almost three hours. So, ah, I can't sit down for three hours. <laughs> That's yeah. why I like TV series, mga 30 minutes lang to 40 minutes, yeah. okay na, para I can do something else. Or else, yeah. I'll be hooked on watching them the whole right. day. Wala nang nangyari yeah. sa buhay ko nun. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just yeah. evening it out, ha? 
uh, so I just want them to know that, you know, with contouring, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. We're just teaching it to you right now so that you have that yes. option. Right. Basically, contouring is used specifically for ito, yung mga online thing, yeah. and then for photos. Yes. Yeah. Kung sobrang mahili kayo mag-selfie and you want to look good all yes. the time, right? Sige, mag-contour. Yeah. Yes, mag-contour. Yan yung sikreto eh, ng mga artista din. It actually brings the oh, best oh. in you. It brings the, the best in front. And you can hide those areas where you don't want to show on TV or on photos. That's the yeah, power. It's of called way. using shadows, de ba? Yeah. Oh, oh. Tapos with the lighting pa, so perfect na. So almost done na ako, Katrina. Yes. Oh, there's another one that says, uh, Agnes says, true color and eyebrow should match, and yes, it it makes sense. I she found it uh that it makes sense and that he, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. I think I missed here. Hair color, yeah. Hair color and eyebrow should match. Yes, that's what she means. Yeah, super important. Yeah, you know, in the L'Oreal Academy, when I took up uh, hair coloring, that's the first thing that they taught us. Yung eyebrows, chaka yung hair, kalangan matchy matchy. Yes. All right. Okay. okay. So Katrina, I'm done with the contouring. I can't really see it kung super pantay, but so far okay naman ako. Yes. It's looking good. All right now. Thank you. Now, okay, I'm using, I'll be using this small angled contour brush. Okay, sa mga ibang tao dyan na parang insecure sila sa nose nila kasi yung iba, they resort right yeah. away to, ano eh, to having a nose job. So if you just want to look good, you know, on photos or even in person, you can contour your nose to make it look slimmer and yeah. higher. Kasi sa mga Pinoy's, parang yan yung insecurity. Oh, maganda yeah. yung ilo. Okay, yeah. so this one I'm using the That's... same color, no, as my um, uh, the contouring powder that I used on my face to create that number three pattern. I'm using it also for my nose, because yes. kahit na let's say may nose ka na, pero you'll be coming out on TV or online or in photos. Medyo wala pa rin dimension and that's the reason why we contour. It's not just na parang to show others na o oh, maganda talaga yung ilong ko. Perfect talaga, no? But we want to create depth and dimension. All right, so where do I apply this? So I connect this to the eyebrows, yung starting point ko kanina, and apply it on the side of my nose. So ayan, you see it? Parang nagda-drawing. No araw to, yeah. I remember, I would join mga Santa Cruzan in the province. Nakakatawa. You know, the hairdresser. A lot of the hairdressers before were gays. Parang bira lang yung babae. So, this gay guy. So, I'm also applying it here on the other side. And then, here also sa center. And then, so super obvious. No, So, I will now... Uh, just diffuse it a bit. Well, going back to my story, Katrina. So this gay guy would parang use parang, I don't know it's, if it's black or what, super strong talaga. We'll just use two of his fingers, atong uh, pointy finger and the thumb. So he'll get some of the product parang ganito. He'll make dot dot the product like that. Ganyan. Yes. And then he'll just wipe it like that from the eyes oh, to the nose. And we'll just, and we'll just, you know, <laughs> blend it like that. Sabi ko, bakit ganun yung ilong ko? Ang itim-itim naman sa photos. Tapos, super kapal my makeup. Yeah. Parang ako miso. Mm -hmm. Parang, o, oh, natakpan na yung face ko. Parang I don't look good anymore. Yeah. Parang I can't see myself anymore. Tapos ang mm -hmm. eyeshadow ko nun. Oh my God, it's major pink. I mean, I love pink, pero parang it's so off. <laughs> OMG. Oh, oh. Oh, so To be honest, I, I yeah. I did that twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kasi I used to do a lot of Santa Cruzans before. Yes. And then, yeah. <laughs> I remember when I started doing makeup, na even by myself, kasi I told you, di ba, 12 years old pala nagme-makeup na ako. Yeah. 
So I would do my own makeup. I'm happier. Yes, All right, yes. now I want to diffuse it more, Katrina. So you see na the contour on the nose. Yes. Mas tumang, mas mas yes. nagkaroon ng depth, ng dimension, right. mas nag-lift siya, tsaka mas, ah, mas naging 3D. manipis yung sides, right? Sorry. Uh, it's like 3D, 3D effect na siya, no? Sorry. Ang galing. <laughs> Galing, galing, oh, oh, galing, diba? That's the magic of makeup. So if I want to diffuse, I can use this. I didn't put any product. It's just my uh, foundation brush. Para lang mas diffuse siya. Para mas softer. Yeah. Depende kasi sa effect na gusto mo. If you're doing high fashion photography, there, you can do, you can apply more contour or specifically for mga theater or stage yeah. makeup. Kasi exactly. important yun eh. Exactly. Yeah. So their proper blending is also crucial in doing the contour. Yes, it's very important, no? Para yung application mo mas seamless. Okay, yeah. I think I, I see a morning star, so I'm just getting rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> With the cotton buds. Speaking of, you all know, right, yung, uh, yung, oh, sorry, yung Santa Cruzan and all that stuff in the province. Mm -hmm. I remember that cake foundation. Do you remember that? Yung foundation oh, yes, na parang cake. Oh, yes, they have the Max Factor. Ay, oh, oh Max that. Factor na cake. Tsaka yung Cocour You. You yes, yung brand. Cocour You. Yung That's Cocour the most popular. You. At tsaka Canebo. Yes. Canebo, yeah. They have this big sponge, di ba? Tapos they wet it. Tapos that's how ma they use that yes. product. Sobrang ang dami nung application, nung yes. pato. Tapos parang it, pintura. You know, when you effect. first... Oh, oh, parang minasil niya yung face. <laughs> tapos, <laughs> di ba, syempre, pag naglakad ka sa street, di ba? Yes. Sa kalye, tapos parang you have this lamp as your light. Hindi yes. pa uso yung mga, uh, how do you call this, ring lights before na pwedeng mag-generator. Yeah. Kaya hindi naman. So, yung lamp para talaga na may mm -hmm. gas, right? Oh, And wow. then, nasa, parang, nasa, uh, ming handle nun is parang bamboo. So, you're walking and walking. So, sa init, kasi nga mainit dito sa then you perspire, tapos yung ilaw pa na yun. Even if you make pai-pai, yung, yung makeup mo, alam mo, when you become so sweaty na, pare siyang nagkikake, sobrang pangit. Yes. Sorry. Para sa <laughs> it. It will help out. Yes. So, I remember nung bata pa ako, when I, when I went to, uh, you know, uh, like, there, there was a beauty pageant, okay? And then prior to the competition, I went to the backstage, and I saw all these uh, my makeup artists, normally they're, yeah, gays, they're really great uh, people, and they put mm -hmm. so, ma so much kukurio makeup dun sa mga um, candidates. Talagang nilagay nila sa buong katawan ng mga candidates. That's why they, yeah, they look perfect on, on, on picture. Kaso lang sobrang light, sobrang lakas ng, ano, ng shade. Parang pintura na nga yung effect. Yeah, parang minasilya, parang pintura. And then when you run later on, no, syempre ako ay like to explore bata, no? So, what I'll do is, syempre, sa skin ko, pag tatanggalin ko na yung makeup, magamitin ko tong finger ko, yung nails ko, tapos igaganong ko. Sako, oh my God, ang daming natanggal na product. It's so kadire. <laughs> tapos, it's so hard to remove. Hindi mo pwede i-wash off lang. Yes. During the time, yung available na ginagamit ko is this Nivea cream, the parang round one na blue. So, that. I'll apply a lot of that on my face para lang matanggal. Grabe, yeah. grabe the the effort to remove the makeup and then you have to wash your face i think twice yeah para lang to... matanggal yes but nowadays yeah, you know, with... yeah the evolution <laughs> of makeup products really as you can see the less product you apply the better it is and nowadays yung mga makeup products talagang napaka high performing na no kahit na konti lang ilagay mo talagang it does the job na Oo, yung, yung, oo, yung pigments kasi ngayon, mas maganda. Before kasi siguro, kasi yung technology, di ba, nag explore yeah. pa before, hindi pa ganun yeah. ka-advance. Pero ngayon, the makeup that we have, though, the pigments are really, really nice. Kahit yeah. the hindi mahal brands, they're also nice. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so since I already drew my face, <laughs> na-contour ko na, no? Ito, yung, yung pang-contour also important sa pagdadaya, di ba? And, uh, with your face shape, if you want to, the application I did for contouring is our goal is to create that oval face shape because it's the perfect face shape, eh. and that's the reason why we contour. So, 
So there, Katrina. But anyway, yes, yes. Uh, moving on, we'll be doing the eyeshadow now. Yeah. So I'll be choosing, yes, a light, light brown shade for my... Bakit wala ako nakikitang light dito? I will just get another product. Hmm. All right. I just want to say, uh, yeah, Agnes says she thinks... I think better don't do contour if you don't know exactly where to put it. So, yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, if you don't know yet, you can try to, you know, check practice first. Kasi madali lang naman the, no, mm -hmm. yeah. uh -oh, the number three pattern I showed you, that's, that's uh, no, this is the safest for all face shapes. Now, if you want to really explore, because in, in my makeup class, I teach that different contouring techniques for different face shapes to achieve that oval face shape. So there's a guide for it. But just to be safe, uh, you can you can do that number three pattern that I showed you dito. So you can read uh, you can probably watch this stream again later on. And then practice is the king. Talaga. Yes. All right. So I found my light brown shade. So it's here as my base. So I will use this. So I'll apply this on my entire eyelid area dito before the brow bone. So it's up to you if you want to wet it or not. Yung iba, we na wet siya kasi para mas maganda yung kapit, no? Mas naglalas. But with the makeup now that we have, we don't really need it. The others naman, they wet it para wala masyadong fallout ng product. Hindi masyadong mangitim yung under eye area or what. All right, so I'll apply this on the entire eyelid area as my base. I'm using the flat eyeshadow brush. By the way, Katrina, I just like to tell our viewers that this flat eyeshadow brush, iba ibang sizes, so I'm using the medium one. Uh, meron din to mga maliliit. You can also use this as your concealer brush if you like. Yes. So one brush doesn't mean that it's just used for one product. It can be used for different products as well. Just like what you shared in the beginning, na yung powder brush, saka yung kilay brush, yun na lang yung pinaka-importance yun. Kasi with those two, buhay ka na. Pwede mo nang i-apply yung buong mm -hmm. makeup product sa mukha mo, right? Linisin mo lang. Yeah. That's a good tip. All right. So there, I think you can see it. Medyo may color na siya para siyang... Yes. I can really uh, see it now. May shade na talaga. May shade na siya. Yung iba, iiwan na lang ganyan yan eh. Parang oh, okay yes. na yan. Ayaw natin kasi we want to teach our yeah. viewers how to apply yeah. their makeup. So next, By the way, I'm looking... You showed to us your pink uh, makeup box. I like it so much. Yung pink na vanity case mo. Dara? Oh, yeah, it's here beside yeah, it's, me. Yeah. yeah. It's so I nice. I forgot all about it. Kasi nasa storage <laughs> lang siya. Sabi ko. Yeah. Anyway, kasi the black one, the one I'm using now, where all my stuff are right now, yes. this is parang may pangharabas. Like when I do gigs, kasi since it's black, kahit magasgas, you know, madumihan, it's black. I really don't care even if they say, oh, parang ano, medyo luma na yan. But the thing is, eh, Sometimes itatapon tapon mo lang when you you know you transfer it from one car to the other. So if I use the pink, parang I'm nang hihinayang naman. Yes. And you're in a pink yeah. room right now. Do you call that yes. pink room or vanity room? Yes, I I live in a pink world now. Yes. <laughs> Actually, right, pink so... color. Sorry, pink color relaxes us. It's more like a relaxed uh, color. That's how I see uh, it. Yes, it is. For me, well, ever since, you know, during my Sanrio days, I've loved pink ever since. Lala and Kiki, remember them? <laughs> and Hello Kitty. Yeah. So I've always been fond of pink. And uh, so my dream was to create like a pink wall somewhere here in the house. So finally, I got it. And I'm using it also now for my vlogs as my background. So the pink wall helps a lot. All right, so Katrina, let's move on to, all right, I'll be applying this parang darker shade of brown, it's matte again, on the crease of my eyelid. So I'm using this brush, it's called, oops, there, the bullet brush, because the end or the tip is shaped like a bullet. 
So I'll apply it now. I'll get a little of the product and then tap tap again because we don't like too much. Because if it's too much, they're kakapal na. So you yeah. just ano na lang. And I'm creating this parang winged effect at the very end. Nasa inyo yun if you wanna create that winged effect or not. I'm just maarte. <laughs> and to yeah, show you that since I'm doing yeah, such a, like a okay. drama and, look. Yeah, and since I'm here na rin doing it, might as well teach our viewers na rin. So this is optional if you want to do it or not. Right. And so it looks makapal now. I think that's really but great a, for like a event, right? Uh uh. Kind of for mga parties and yeah. stuff. Can you tell us, uh, Dara, okay. how how long does it normally take you to do this kind of makeup? You know, in normal circumstance. Without the eyeshadows, I don't really use eyeshadows yeah. much, even in vlogs, because. Yeah. I've realized and I've noticed that my features come out stronger on cam. That's why when I was doing the news in GMA7, the makeup artist there was telling me, wag ka na mag-eyeshadow, wala na yung mga sa mata-mata na yan, kilay na lang, foundation, lipstick. Hindi pa uso yung contouring nun eh. This is way yeah. back in the 90s. Yeah. So, simple lang yung makeup ko. So, it would just take me mga 20 minutes. Right. Medyo mas matagal lang yung skincare ko kasi I do this mga facial massages. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and if I do this in complete, it's probably mga 30 minutes. And then with the false lashes, medyo additional pa yun ng 3 minutes. Yes. Yeah, to complete the entire look. Oh, Katrina, now I'm using this brush, yung angled contour brush earlier that I used yeah. for my nose. I'm using it again to just blend and spread the eyeshadow that I applied on my eyelid area, on the crease. Para mas softer siya. Yes. Perfect kasi yung sh shape nito yeah. eh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tsaka para ma-diffuse din. There. Really nice. It's nice, diba? It softens the uh, shade. It softens the shade. Kasi kanina yeah. ito, oh, if you see the difference, I'll oh, close my eyes. Diba? Right. Very ano, strong ito. Yes. Ito mas diffused and softer. So I'll do the same thing here. So I can't live without these brushes. You know, when I go abroad, when I pack my stuff, ay naku, importante yung makeup brushes ko. One time, I was like, yeah. oh my gosh. So all of my brushes and makeup were just in a Ziploc bag. And it was near the, the bin, the trash can in the bathroom. And we were rushing to go mm. out. Na. I, I'm sharing a room with my sister and my brother. So, syempre, kaming dalawa, ma-makeup kami, especially yeah. that sister of mine. So, anyway, I was rushing. So, I left everything there by the trash can. But it's so organized naman. Oh, my God. When I got back, it was gone. I was panicking like crazy. I'm like, oh, my God, my makeup, where is it? <laughs> I wanted to cry and said, oh, my gosh, tomorrow when I wake up, I don't have makeup. I'm going down to the mall to buy the entire set and the brushes. Paano if they don't have the brush that I like? Oh, di ba? Sobrang art. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Pero buti okay. nasa Hong Kong, ha, di ba? Finally, my... <laughs> Shopping capital oh, that I was in... of Southeast Asia. Oh, oh, nasa baba lang. Oh, I'll just go down lang naman. Nandun na yung Sasa, yeah. that Sasa yeah. store. Yeah, it's a beauty also. store, so everything's there. But anyway, my tita kasi is a flight attendant for Cathay Pacific. She knows how to speak Chinese, so she called the oh. customer service, the front desk. Like I wanted to cry, and I was so devastated. And then oh finally, God. she was able to talk. She traced everything, like who was the cleaner, who was in charge of the housekeeping during that time. And they're so nice. You know, my heart melted. They returned everything to me completely. Oh, it's like, oh my God, thank you. Thank you for answering my prayers, Lord. Yeah, I'm so babble, yeah. people might think. She's so babble, she's so vain. I actually am very vain. But, you know, <laughs> you know, giving that back to me and getting it back, oh my goodness, it oh. made my day. And oh, now I realize yeah. I cannot I cannot leave my makeup near the trash bin because they're really going to throw no. it away. Yes. <laughs> Never, ever do right, that. So now, 
never. So I'm done. No, no. I'm just diffusing the excess with my fingers. So you can use you know your what? fingers then. Agnes no? says, you look like Marielle, the wife of Robin Padilla. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much, Agnes. Yes. And thank you that you're watching us. Yes. I hope you're learning something. She's I saw Robin watching. before. In yes. Actually, I wanted, I wanted to say Dara is, uh, looks more beautiful. <laughs> Sorry for me. She, well, you are beautiful, Dara, okay? Just wanted to say oh, that. Oh, thank yes. you so much. Thank but when you. it comes to skin tone, oh. you have lighter skin, definitely. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And then, okay, I'm done with my, um, how do you call this? With my, the base and the crease. Now, I want something that's naman... It's up to you. Ako, I want something medyo makintab here, eh, just to make my yes. eyes pop a bit. Right. So I'll be using like this kind of shimmery, parang yellowish yeah. eyeshadow. So it's you. It's up to you if you want to explore. I'll apply it here on the, near the, how do you call this? Yeah, this area Starting here. Starting point of my eye. Inner yeah. area, inner corner the of inner. my eye. Yeah, inner corner. You know what's funny, Dara? When I first talked to you, when you did the makeup workshop for one, mm -hmm. yes, and then I asked you, where can I get, you know, study makeup and stuff? You sounded, at first, my impression was, you sounded like Vicky Bello, you know, the tone, the voice of Vicky Bello. You know, someone told me that also. Yes. A lot of people have been telling me, especially mm -hmm. now, I'm doing my vlogs. They were saying me, Hey, you know, you you sound like someone. I said, who? Vicky Bell. I'm like, oh, but you know, I love Vicky Bell when she does yes, her really, vlogs like and yeah. all. She's yeah. so natural. It's it like is. she's just yeah. talking to a friend. And the way she explains it, even if it's like in the medical field, like all the skin, the parts, and blah, blah, blah. But when she when she explains it to you, it's in layman's term. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, oh my God, I understand it. It's so easy. Yeah. But when I read it, I can't get it. But when she explains things, it's like she dropped the bomb and then, I understand. It makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting your procedure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can go now. Exactly. Oh, I, I also yeah. listen to her vlogs, to uh, watch her vlogs, and it's really, uh, really funny and uh, nice. Alam mo yun, Vicky Bello, even if she's into that field, medical field, like she has that, okay, jargon, and like th those terms that everyone can understand, you know, ordinary people can understand. So it's yeah, not really and jargon you know words she's using. Oh, and she attracts all sorts of, I mean, her market, it's really wide. I mean, yeah. A, B, C, D, whatever. Yeah. Everybody appreciates her and likes her. Right. Right. Low so, end, middle okay. end, high end. Oh, ayan oh that's Galing, why no? na, ano, she captured the entire market segment. Yes. Right. Sobrang galing niya. She yeah. has a great personality and mm -hmm. she really communicates very well. That's what I can say. Yes. Uh, All right. Okay, so I applied the parang, uh, what's this, the yellow Shimmer. shimmery yeah. eyeshadow here, right? Now I'll apply it also here on the brow bone area. So if I find it nakapal, I just lessen it. Ha? Parang all of a sudden, if, kasi my eyes are trained. I'm sure if you're a makeup artist, just like you, your eyes are trained. So, you know, if you see na it's medyo makapal, parang you just remove it right away or you diffuse it. Yes. It is kind of hurts your eyes when you look at it so basically there that's my eyeshadow for the day yeah. and then now i'll move on to okay i used this eyebrow pencil earlier i don't like using black on my lower lower lash line because it makes it look matapang also yeah. and then i don't want to end up looking like i have raccoon eyes during the end of the day <laughs> So I also use brown, or I can also use the same eyeshadow. I just have to find a, I don't have a tiny brush here with me, but I'll just use this eyebrow. So you can use the, like this one, the medium brown that I use, get a smaller smudge brush, apply it on your lower lash line. I will apply it outside, huh? not inside. Yeah. Para may konting color lang the lower lash line. Yes. You see that? Yes, I see it now. Okay. 
So I'll do the same thing here on the other side. Nung kabataan ko, nako, naka-blue eyeliner pa ako, up and down. Oh, Tapos hindi pa uso yung cat's eye. Cat's eye na ako. Oh, wow. Diba? Ang bilis, ano? Ito, paubos na. Advanced. I love this. Yeah. Advanced. This What is, is a white eyeliner. If you want to make your oh, eyes yeah. pop or para yes. palakihin so that you will increase the, the white of your eyes, I will apply this on the inner waterline. Yeah. So, parang Barbie eyes, Barbie doll. I'm a Barbie girl. Yeah. In a Barbie world. Really? Plastic. Yeah. plastic. <laughs> It's so funny. You know those uh, animes, th those Japanese animes that look, that has, you know, have those big open eyes. I think that that's yeah, what they're so using. Yeah, so this is the, right? yeah, this is the technique. Kaya lang, you always have to check on your eyes because it has a tendency to create that morning star. <laughs> okay. Yes, definitely. Yeah. The more oh, product that then, you apply on your face, you have to remove it really well. Yes. Okay, now we're done with the lower lash line. I'm looking for my... Oh, my. Nasaan na siya? It's nawawala. It's for my yeah. eyeliner on top. Yes. Which one do you prefer, Dara? Is it the liquid liner or the gel? For, for, for me personally, I like gel liner. I like the gel layer eh, because I have more control when I apply yeah. it. If it's wet, mm -hmm. kasi it has a tendency to be lampas lampas, the application. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, ha, I don't have the... I'm supposed to use the angled... Um, Parang slanted brush, but right. I think during my shoot yesterday, doing my vlog, because I'm doing, I'll be talking about the different makeup brushes. Mm -hmm. Parang ano eh, nalagay ko siya dun sa synthetic brush collection okay. ko. But Hi. anyway, I will just use this parang flat brush. Yes, I will improvise. Yes, yes you have to improvise. That's what I teach my students also eh. If you don't have what you need, you just have to improvise. Because it's not possible. You'll just leave your client hanging right. there. Yeah, so it's exactly. a tinier brush, and then I'm using this gel eyeliner. Yeah. So, so I'll write. So I'm just gonna ano lang. I just want to see how it. Okay, medyo makapal. So the key here or the technique, Katrina, is you have to. I stretch this the eye the the skin here mm -hmm. on my brow bone a bit. So that I can apply a more precise application. Yeah. Kasi pag hindi, nakaganyan lang. Yes. When you open your eyes, like itong parang may dot, dot, dot on the yes. upper lash line. Ang pangit. Yeah. You know, I had that experience before. Ang ganda nitong girl. I was talking to her. And then finally, when she looked down, I think she was browsing at the menu in the restaurant. I said, Ah, ang pangit ng application ng eyeliner niya. I got distracted right away. Siyempre, masaya lang tayo kasi makeup artist. Pero, siyempre, if you're on a date and then, I don't know if guys are really, you know, that selan also. If they are, then they're gay, siguro. But anyway, <laughs> parang medyo turn off. Medyo, medyo turn off, ba? Diba? Parang, ay, ba't ganun parang dotted? But anyway, that's it lang. It makes a big difference pag yung application mo mas maganda. So exactly. I'll start yes. now, ha? Yes, go ahead. I just so want to share, start you know. Here. Uh, yes, from the inner corner. Medyo makapal, oh, yeah, inner corner going right. out. I just no want to share there. Right now. I did the makeup to this model there in the Philippines. Pretty, like half German, half Filipina, half Filipino. All right. So, Really Ganda. pretty. And I did not hindi ko gin ginawa yung ganon yung raising up this part. So talagang I was just so confident. Uh -oh. Okay, nilagyan ko siya really nice. Ang ganda-ganda ng pagkalagay ng gel liner. And then, when she opened her eyes, it looks so, like her eyes look so droopy. So what happened? Oh, good gosh. So, Siyempre, ikaw sa makeup artist mm -mm. parang, Okay, we're gonna panic inside. But don't show it that you don't know what you're doing. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Again. All right, remove. Okay, it takes a lot of uh, time for that. Shampoo, you're on time pressure because the photographer is like, okay, still 30 minutes more. And then you're like, you have to do it as early as possible. 
So ayun, ginawa ko ulit. And then I really make sure that, okay, just lift it up a bit, this part, and that here. And it mm-hmm. did the job. So, kasi iba-iba yung shape. Yeah. Na, yeah, yeah. Ng eyes. Oh, iba-iba yung shape ng eyes eh. Yeah. Alam mo, pinakamahirap sa akin yung hooded. Sobra. Yes. Or, you know, some people are born na hindi pantay yung eyes nila, yes. hindi symmetrical. Yes. So, you have to do something about that too. Mm-hmm. So, ito, Katrina, I'm doing the most that I can. It's not perfect for me, ha? I'm not really that satisfied. I don't have my brush, but it's okay. At yes. least it's not the dotted one. Yes. Now, I see that your eyes are much bigger. Yes, with yeah, the gel liner. Yeah, it's much bigger with the, the gel liner. Yes. Dapat pala, sorry, I forgot. I should have um, curled my lashes first before I applied the liner. But it's all right. Kasi baka mag-mark eh. But you're supposed to, ano, uh, um, there. How do you call this? Curl it first before you apply the liner. Kasi para hindi, like, the color of the eyeliner will be transferred onto the curler. Yeah. Anyway, pag makeup artist ka, madali namang mag-remedyo. <laughs> Para-paraan. Pag, oo, para-paraan lang yan. Kasi, ano eh, may experience na tayo eh. We know how to deal with problems when it comes to makeup application. Troubleshooting. Well, yes, troubleshooting skills are very important. Troubleshooting, yeah. yeah. Pero pag wala kang experience, you're really gonna panic. Talagang panic attack. Yes, to really. the max. <laughs> sure. Parang you're frozen. Parang mas mabilis, you know. Oh, oh. Yeah, mm-hmm. you don't know what to do. Yeah. Parang mas mabilis the curling of your lashes. You know what I used to do? I would use, I would take my blow dryer and heat it up. Yes. yes. And then, okay, let it cool down for a while lang. Ha? Hindi yes. yung pagkatapos i-blower is uh, i-aano mo na kaagad, i- yeah. How do you call this? Go Ika-curl mo na kasi yeah. mapapasok naman your eyes. Yes, mainit. Mainit yan. Yeah, oh. for sure. Yeah. Para siyang iron Ma- ang effect niya, di ba? Parang init it- down for a while. Ma- okay, so, mm-hmm. oo. Ah. Oo. Mas madali. You know, there's one okay, technique. Okay, now I will apply my mascara. Oh, sorry to cut you off, Dara. There was one technique that uh, my no, previous ahead, teacher uh, uh, taught us on how to curl eyelashes. And that's using mm-hmm. the spoon. I think that was you, Dara. Ah, sige, paano you yan? Did. Can you share that you, nga? No, you did that. I think that was you when you did it in one, for one. Using the spoon. Oh, I, I did, ba? Here. Yeah, I think you did it. I can't remember. Sorry. We will do that. Uh, so, okay. sobrang daming classes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so sobrang daming classes. Yeah, can you share it? Can you, sh- yeah, can so you share happened? it, Katrina? All right, I want our viewers to visualize this. Okay, I don't have a spoon right now with me. But let's mm-hmm. say you have, you know, a, you know, a small one, a tablespoon. If you have that one, what yes. you have to do is to put that here in between your skin and the eyelashes. And then what you have to do oh, is yeah. like you press it like that going upwards using the spoon. So you have to put the spoon right in between your skin here and okay. the eyeliner skin and the... Uh, the lashes part and then you just and have the to hair. do it yeah the, yeah the hair and then you just have to do it like that curl it but it's manual mm-hmm. so a lot yeah it takes so medyo of- matagal no yes mm-hmm. just in case lang talaga yeah, siguro na walang 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 ano na talaga ay curler halimbawa na wala oh, yung curler see, you, you have your spoon uh-oh. why not diba lalo na sa mga ano like yung mga out of town gigs na nakalimutan mo. Let's say, yes. nasa beach ka, wala man lang, wala man lang yes. mall doon, nasa island ka, you're stranded, yeah. and then you have an event. Yeah, that's good. That Thank you thing. for sharing, Katrina. You're welcome. All, All right, right so I'm done. I'm done with my uh, mascara application. I'm removing lang the excess eyeliner that kind of yeah. got in my lower lash line. Okay, there. All right, so mas lumaki yung eyes, oh. mas yes. nag-open siya. Mas nag-open talaga siya. Yeah, so that's the beauty of uh, 
applying mascara yeah. and eyeliner on top on your upper yeah. lash line area. All right, now is almost patapos na tayo. I'll be using this blusher. So I'm using this parang pink and peachy one. Hindi yung masyadong pink na pink. I don't yeah. want to look super, super Barbie. Barbie so Barbie. ito, yung brush ko. Yung brush ko, ta sobrang luma na. Pero it's been with me for like since forever talaga. But I love it kasi when I swipe the blush, ayun na, eksakto na yung application. Nakuha yeah. na niya. Yes. So I'll use this. I'll get some of the product. Tap, tap again. Tap and when bit. you smile, yeah. yeah, I'll look for the apple of my cheeks and that's where I'll, I'll be it. placing it. There. There. You see? Konting color lang. Ayoko yeah. nang masyado. Cheeky cheek. So it makes your yeah. Yeah, face much happier, looking happier and glower. Yes. And then I'll apply uh, my uh, powder. So it's up to you if you want uh, whatever powder, whether it's the setting powder or uh, press powder yes. yeah. or loose powder, it's really your call. Yeah. And then I'll just add a little powder under the eye area. Yes. The others, if you want to brighten the under eye area, you may use a matte. Dik to na na transfer, tamad na ako mag transfer. A white matte parang uh, oh, yes. powder. Yes. So I can apply it here just to brighten it. I really yeah. don't like doing the baking thing. You know what I realized? Diba yung baking, you apply so much powder here. Yes. That is only good for the younger younger women. I'm sorry okay. to say yes. that. Kasi as we get more mature, diba, we have lines under the eye area. Yeah. So what happens sa baking kasi, the loose powder gets into the the lines. So it makes the lines more obvious. But yeah. for younger people kasi, they don't have the lines. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so okay lang if they, uh, mga up to 25 siguro or 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there. Yeah. So when do we use and highlighter, then, Adara? Now, I'll use the highlighter. Okay, there. I'm using this white one. Yeah. So I'm using this parang angled contour brush again, the smaller yeah. version. I'm using this shimmery, shiny white uh, powder na parang eyeshadow or whatever. Pag makeup artist ka, kasi you explore. So yeah. I'll apply this here in the center of my forehead. You have to create... Uh, you have to envision yourself. Parang it's like the areas where the sun touches your skin. That's the effect that you want to achieve when you apply the highlighter. So center yeah. of your forehead, a bit, not too much. Center of your nose. And then here, on top of the cheekbone area, be before the contour. And then if you like the chin, and I'll use my fingers. The others, they use it to apply it on the... Yung Cupid's bow on top of it. And then just diffuse a bit. There. And then Katrina, okay, ito na yung almost last na to. For yeah. your lips, you may apply a lip balm first para your lips won't get dry. And it also creates a smoother application of your lip color when you have moisturized lips. And then I'm applying this color. It's by Maison. It's pinkish. I don't really like using red a lot at my age. Because when you get at a certain age, syempre our teeth gets discolored. I love pa naman drinking wine, coffee, and tea. So the discoloration is there. So if you don't want to show the imperfection of of your teeth, stay away from using mga reddish, maroonish colors. And also those colors will make you look old also. But if you want to look more youthful, vibrant, and fresh, then stick to the pink tones or pink colors. Yes. And then you can uh, you can use also a lip liner just to create the shape of your lips. Or you want to recreate it and draw it if you want to make it look poutier yes. or slimmer. It's up to you. But for me, I'm happy with my lip, so I'll just apply this. So I'll start first with the shape. I'm not using na that lip, uh, no, lip brush. I'm tamad na. <laughs> pag sa sarili, tamad. Pero pag sa client, kasi parang... You have to make sure yeah. that they look 
perfect kasi because they're yes. paying you. Right. They're paying you. That's another So we have to act professionally another, in front of uh, the client. Yeah. That's the reason why we cannot use our fingers when we apply makeup on their skin. That's a no-no. Because yeah. the question would always be hygiene and sanitation and we're not following the, you know, the the right. health standards and whatever. Right. Kaya, Especially yeah. these days with all the rules, I'm pretty sure that most people wouldn't want, you know, their makeup artists to touch their face. Yeah, beat on makeup. Like me now, my clients are all hair. Because hair nya is our crowning glory. Oh, you yes. want to share oh, my yeah. topic for next week? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to tell everyone. Segway na ito. <laughs> ito na. This is our opportunity. So now we've covered the daily, uh, the classic uh, elegant makeup look. Sorry about my voice, guys. Um, So next week, Dara will be showing us how to do an elegant, you know, look that I'm sure all of us can really follow. So right, Dara? It's not going to be super difficult, correct? Yeah, so we'll be talking about having or choosing the perfect hairstyle for you because our hair is our crowning glory. And, you know, from experience also, I'd like to share with you, Katrina, and to our viewers that, you know, even if you don't have makeup, better you have the perfect haircut and the hairstyle. You're ready to go, and then you just apply your powder and lipstick and key light. Okay, now you look va va boom already. <laughs> Are you already look fabulous that you can already step out and yes. face the world. Right. Yeah, to really complete okay. that you know, elegant look, we have to have makeup and hair. So, yes, I'm super excited about that. So, guys, ladies, sorry, ladies, high caliber and elegant ladies, next week, don't ever miss that episode, okay? Our exclusive episode. Baka may guys din tayong nanonood kasi they're concerned with their partners, their wives, oh, their yeah. girlfriend, para they can tell them, oh, why don't you use this? Or they can gift them with those products for special occasions. Yeah. Right? So if you find this video helpful, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to share it with your loved ones and friends. All right? Okay, All right. this is the last, Katrina. So I'll be applying a finishing spray. If you want your makeup to last longer the whole day, let's say you'll be doing a lot of stuff, I use a finishing spray. This is equivalent to like your hairspray. This to make sure that your makeup stays in place and lasts longer. So I'll just spray yes. lang. But there are brands na available. Conti lang. Yes, finishing spray. Ooh, really nice. That's it. It makes you feel really fresh. And also, it sets your makeup. That's what it does. There you go. Yes. And that's how you should yes. do your classy and elegant makeup. So, guys, if you have questions, or ladies and gentlemen, feel free to comment down below. We will answer them throughout the week. We will do a breakdown of this episode in our Facebook group. Go and join the group. And also, uh, do you have uh, anything to add, uh, Dara, before we finally leave or end this session? Last tip or? But I've shared so much. Yeah, already. you already <laughs> shared <it. laughs> Yeah, if you guys have questions, yeah. Uh, uh, you can just, you know, send in your comments or if you want to learn something else that we can talk about so that at least Katrina, they'll help us with the different topics in the coming in the coming weeks right so please yeah. do so here on pinoy real and yeah i'm excited to see you next week and uh, i'm happy to share whatever i i you know i learned also from beauty school and experience here on pinoy real and i hope you're not just learning but you're enjoying the time that you're spending with me and katrina because me i am having fun you know being with yes. you guys and being with Katrina also and uh, imparting my knowledge with you all. So, yeah, so I just wish you all a great weekend and we will see you again soon. And I hope you check out my uh, vlogs in uh, Beauty and Beyond. My latest is about Caroline Simeon mask and my upcoming is about, this is important that we talked about makeup application. The, the different brushes. Yes. I'll be talking All about right. makeup brushes. So, so ladies, there, Katrina. Thank you so much, Dara, 
for that you know opportunity to have this session with you thank you, you are too. such uh, a treasure to pinoy wheel and also before i let you go guys ladies i have a good news to everyone i am finishing uh, an ebook so it is entitled how to benefit from the biggest business launch for filipinos wow. in the philippines and abroad so and build your business the right way so type the word ebook and be one of the first ones to get a free copy so i will personally message you on how to get my upcoming i want <laughs> all right if you want type the word ebook and i will personally message you guys all right okay so thank you again for sticking with us today next week we will have another informative live stream session that's about hair or hairstyle or haircut so dara will really go into details all right on how to achieve that elegant high caliber look when it comes to hairstyle thank you again ladies have a great weekend bye